Really wish I could skip this. Anyways, welcome back to Black Sad. I'm Super Majin Kev. You know who it is. And if you don't, hit the follow button, have notifications turned on, share the stream. You know what I mean? Listen, we didn't really end things off too well last session. Because after this cutscene, after this shit, uh, the game like wanted to just give me a black screen uh, when we in the next uh, segment. And I haven't done anything off camera in attempts to fix that. I just hope it goes a little smooth this time. Uh, if I pick the right choice off the bat. Um, I really don't want to cancel this game, man. I want to finish it. The, the goal of this session today is to fucking beat this game. Because I personally do not want to come back. <laughs> I do not want to open this game again. Um... I'll share most of my thoughts at the review, but Jesus Christ, I do not want to open this game after today. Hey, Switch, what up? We already seen this cutscene. It is what it is. Oh my God, fuck sakes. Yeah, you know. How's Karagos dish tasting? That's not a pause, is it? It's a dish. It's food. Oh, you got a rating. Good afternoon, Mr. Farnham. What's going on? Allow me to introduce myself. John Blackmore. I work... Fuck, man. ...for Frank Cassidy. He asked me to bring you these bottles so you could choose which one... 9 to 9.5? Sure. I was fixing to oh, leave, but shit. I just didn't want him and saying going anywhere. <laughs> Well, come on in then. Getting in front of him. Damn, that's pretty. F that's up there, dude. There's another story. But I always have an ace up my sleeve. Blackmore, you okay, partner? The best way to earn someone's trust is to make them believe. I'm gonna be honest. At the end, I had to wing and it. Vod boys, we already seen this. It Let it go. The truth. I. I don't know where to begin. Damn. Since I got back from the war. I think I. Uh... I been the same. Sorry to hear that, son. I think I've curated my own rating system as of how I rate things. So the I feel like games. Have a pot to piss in, so he done a fair I feel deal. like games I rate from a one to ten scale. Least here, no decimal point. I think Good food Lord, I'm a rate on a letter rating. scale Cheers. from F to S. To be wary of the and then movies and TV shows, the I'm going to rate 1 to 10 on a decimal. The I think that's how I'm going to go painting them with about the, the rest of my life like that. <laughs> of who they should be. But I was working with no measurements. Damn. So locked in personality Good on you, man. can only be regarded as a stereotype. Farnham was a disgrace. Not only to himself, but to Texas and the entire human race. To think I had to impersonate him. I wish I was like you. You seem so content, so free of burdens. Stop right there, partner. You think this old dog don't have ticks? Let me tell you something about my first wife. Woo-wee! Once I had gained Farnham's trust, the hard part okay, okay, was deciding okay. what I needed to know to become him All right. and not get myself killed. Here's the problem. I have a time limit to find what I need. So, I'm gonna have to think quick on my feet here. Get it? Because I'm a cat? Shut up. <laughs> what can I do for you, sir? Okay. Let's Farnham go. Farnham was one hell of a drinker. I had to get the information out of him before he drank himself unconscious. Otherwise, I'd have to find that information myself. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Farnham's address book. Who knows what kind of shitty characters are in there? Uh, are you not gonna? Farnham's address book. No, you're not Who gonna. Who knows what kind of shitty characters? Are I feel in bad because I had to message Carigo a couple times. It's super late for him. Oh damn. Bro, why is it such a fucking small time limit? I don't understand. They smell like 
a party. Nice, I got collector shit. Oh my god. You have a good evening, sir. Wait, uh This segment is so trash. I'm looking it up. Cause I know for a fucking fact, if I press retry, it's gonna give me a black screen. Right? Fuck this. If it didn't if it didn't give me a black screen, I wouldn't mind redoing it, but fuck sakes, dude. Oh, I, did, I actually got rid of one command uh, before starting stream today. I got rid of the uh, bagels command for John. I think the, the bagel era has passed. Deciding what I needed to know to become nice, him, dude. To Real nice, man. I'm gonna have to restart anyways. This is so stupid. I hate, I hate this fucking segment so fucking much. What a shitty ass game design, bro. Fucking hell, man. Uh, what the fuck? Poker night? Try to remember again. No. Okay. Leftmost hot spot on the table. I'm putting this over here. Fucking shit, bro. The main issue the why, the main reason why I hate I hate this part so much and why I'm giving it so much shit. I'll save it for the review, man. I just... I cannot. Cannot. This game really doesn't like to get skipped. Not even close, Switch. Not even close. Not even close. Especially if it has fucking issues like this. Ever had rice with milk? I don't remember. Actually. Because rice is- rice can be sweet. I think I have. Like rice pudding or something? I can't skip, dude! And if I pick the wrong answer, it's gonna fucking punish me! Yeah, dude, I love this game! Good afternoon, Mr. Farnham. What's going on? Allow me to introduce myself. John Blackmore. I work for Frank Cassidy. He asked me to bring you these bottles so you could choose which one you prefer for the game. Oh, sure. I was fixing to leave, but I guess them monuments ain't going. But you anymore. do know what it is, right? <laughs> uh... Come on in, then. Somewhat? Farnum's room was easy. Earning his trust was another story. But I always have an ace up my sleeve. Blackmore? You okay, partner? The best way to earn someone's trust is to make them believe they've earned yours. And sometimes, the best way to fake it is to tell the truth. I... I don't know where to begin. Since I got back from the war, 
I haven't been the same. Sorry to hear that. Also, when Karago asked if this is my Omori, go in your place, like I didn't. I didn't really poor have high have hopes for it. Piss in, so he done a fair deal. Till he went off and got himself killed. So, but you know what? At least he earned his place in heaven. The good Lord bless that man and us. While I'm assuming I can pause One during that time segment. Be wary of the biases we all have. If I can't pause, they cloud our judgment and blur This game is fucking ass. Us. Painting them with the shades of our preconceived notions of who they should be. But every once in a while, you run into someone so locked in personality that they can only be regarded as a stereotype. That says lacking. Farnham was a disgrace. Get your subtitles right. Not only to himself, but to Texas and the entire human race. It's like rice and milk with cinnamon and stuff. Oh, I, I, I don't know about like that. You. you seem so content, so free of burdens. Stop right there, partner. You think this old dog don't have ticks? Let me tell you something about my first wife. Also, last session, apologies Once if I was a little, uh, cranky. Like I said, three the hours of sleep yesterday. Was deciding it wasn't that great. To to become him. Also, T always wants to instigate ticked. a fight, and it was kind of annoying me. Also, Narakami was all, is always talking like he knows something, but he really doesn't. Yeah, you know, doop, doop, doop. But it, for real, though, stop. It's getting old, okay? Just trying to chill. What can I do for you, sir? The game's already pissing me off. I don't need chat to piss me off. Farnham was one hell of a drinker. I had to get the information. Nah, nah, you, you good, Switch. Before he drank himself unconscious. Otherwise, I'd have to find that information myself. Okay, please let me pause. Please let me pause. Also, Xfinity's pissing me off. Yeah, you know. You know, dude. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real fucking nice, dude. Like, I know T's a jokester type, but... I don't know. She was getting on my nerves yesterday. Um... Are you done dropping frames? Can I proceed? But I get what you mean. Chat wasn't acting right. <laughs> I feel T takes it a bit too far at the times. Uh, it's just the timing. The timing. She needs to work on her timing. Like, I'm all jokes and shit, but yesterday wasn't it. <laughs> yeah, but I get what you mean, though. All right, am I good? Okay. Can I pause? Thank God. Okay. Left most hot spot on the table. Vietnamese shave? Yes, I got a Vietnamese shave last night. No. Please, come in. Of course. I remember you. Take a seat. I have never seen that before, but okay. I'm sure you'll understand we can't be too careful. Our host has many enemies, and someone has to keep them at bay. Okay. Sure. I get it. I'm glad to hear that. Now. Please answer my question. How much does it cost to get yourself a clean Vietnamese shave? Damn, sure enough, booze put the nail on the coffin of my first marriage. You know, the wife that caught me cheating with the maid. <laughs> my second marriage, too. You know what I did to her daddy? Same old, same old with several mistresses. So I decided to stick to my guns. And only deal with hookers. Even if I did end up <laughs> marrying some. <laughs> I feel you, Mr. Farnham. So I'm going to be honest with you. The debt, right? The debt? 
I'm Cassidy's slave. He lent me the money for a game deposit, and I lost it all. Now I have to work off my debt. Oh, Cassidy's not your problem, son. It's poverty. Sure enough, I had to pay my own deposit this morning to y'all. And that was just petty cash to me. Petty cash, to be honest. I asked you how much. Of course they gave me my receipts. These are the things I am, boy. Wait, I'm, I'll, I'll show you. I gotta get somewhere. Just a sec, I'll get it. I, I just, just I put it over. Over, I think it's, uh, I'll be right back. Stop. Oh my god. So, the game expects me, apparently we have a little more time this time, the second time around, but it expects me to get all the, the collectible cards. Apparently I can get all the collectible cards, I can interact with every single... There's like cats- oh my god, bro, there's so much to fucking do. Um, she's almost got me to the point where I'm almost- I'm gonna start being mad a couple times. Yeah, oh my god, my frames, please. Um, yeah, it's it's just, dealing with T's, uh, I don't know what it's called. Would it be called humor or just, I don't know. She can get annoying is, is the premise of it. Uh, the hydration can get annoying, especially when she knows, she knows that I'm taking a sip. It gets tiring after a while, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to, like, lash out. I don't know. Um, just got to deal with it, I guess. So. Okay, interact with the remaining hotspot. Ding dong. Interesting name for a town. Okay. Interact with Farnham Farnham himself, okay. Please. Oh my god, I'm still on a time. This will surely imbue me with the Texan spirit. His belt, his belt, his belt, please. If time is running low, immediately fly to the planet, but just peeking at it. Why didn't you just say you had the receipt in your pocket? I have more time the second time around, huh? This is why I can't trust anybody. Not even fucking guides. Y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That was the same amount of time. Y'all tripping. Do y'all play games or you just fucking go with the you gut, huh? You just go with your gut? Is that it? <laughs> fuck. I'm almost certain. But tell me, who told you to come to this barber shop? Uh, uh, am I on top? No! Frank E. Cassidy himself. Sure he did. Because he likes to handle everything personally. But forgot to tell me. <laughs> if you give me a black screen, I'm gonna lose it. If you give me a black screen, I'm gonna lose it. Please. Why didn't you just say you had the receipt in your pocket? Good, good. I'm almost certain. But that cow outfit shit, bro? Hell no. To to <laughs> Damn, she had a... Uh... Wait, do I remember again? No, not like this! Oh my god. This segment is so trash!
Bro! Mouth, right hand. Uh, so maybe, can I skip? I'm gonna go straight to the closet. Let me tell you a little secret about my first wife, sonny boy. When I met that woman, she had no manners, no money, no Who in the hell? Find him. By God, if it ain't the hero of the day. What? what? Oh my God. Mouth? It's not going to be easy to sound Texan, but I'll give it my best shot. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Am I on time? I'm not on time. Okay. Right hand. I probably don't need to imitate his <laughs> gestures during the game, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to try. What else do you want? His hat? With this and that bolo tie, I'll really look the part. I'll be damned. <laughs> Yes, also, sir. I want to point out. Sure enough. I'm pretty sure we have four deductions that we can make. But since I'm locked into this fucking segment and I can't free roam, I can't do that. I'm fixed. <laughs> Knowing Farnham, the Boxing owner of this bra the only I'll came here for business. <laughs> anyway, Kenny. Thanks for fixing the game with Cassidy. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> the craziest goddamn Texan in New York. My Revolutionary King, glitchy phone wire. The craziest goddamn Texan in New York. You know how many Kennys there are in New York? Kenny who? I will so break your beak. So where the game will be, the password, and the money Farnham dished out, what else do I need? Left closet, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, there was only one Kenny in Farnham's address book. Kenny Eeks, residing at... Cornell Plaza. Manhattan. Stunning penthouse. I'm not surprised. Mr. Eeks has excellent taste. Do you happen to know what he asked for the last time he was here? Try to remember again. Yeah, you know. Box on the top shelf. You call this a box? No matter right. how superficial someone may seem, there's always a way to win their heart. Uh, wait! Am I good? Don't tell me, Dolly Pie. This here is my new friend, Fire. Am I right? Sure enough, your barber was fixing to give me a shave. <laughs> you can get a good shave at another time. Billy Bob is always at our beck and call. 
Of course. Hey, come on. Let's get in there before they finish all the bourbon without us. I haven't frisked him yet, sir. I don't think that'll be necessary. Mr. Farnham here, he's an honest Texan. And I'm sure he'll hand over his weapon if we ask him to. Please. I just want to get done with the segment. Sure, but you better take good care of my girl. It'll be my pleasure. Why are we zooming in on the cash register? Welcome, gentlemen. Chips are at the table and go. Okay, I think we're done. To be honest, I think we're done. We're not. We're not going back anymore, right? No. Holy shit! That segment was fucking ass. Guns are in the safe. Now we got a lovely night of poker ahead of us, full of smoking and bourbon. So let's get started. Take a seat, Mr. Farnham. Let me introduce you. To my right, wearing gray boxers and weighing in at 140 pounds, the owner of... Do I actually Pokemon have to play poker? I just meet Market and all the man had. Because I don't remember the hands. Words, a real son of a bitch. No offense to the women he exploits. Our reigning champion, Oswald Quince. A title I aim to keep, provided our new contender here doesn't interfere. Well, I'll do what I can. Now you got me worried. Never trust a humble player. The oh, truth easy, is I got you. Bottom. I need your Vegas skills, Switch. And I dare you know say what I'm saying? Most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues then? Yeah, you wish, Quince. He owns a casino. Damn. And it's not even in Austin or Dallas. It's actually in a little town called the. Uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling is legal. Well, I, I, you know. How can you not remember? Sometimes you get the feeling that it's all gone wrong. That you've made a terrible mistake. <sighs> Sorry, did I say sometimes? Huh. No, that only happens once in a lifetime. I hate this game so fucking much, bro. I hate it so much. The truth is that our friend Bottom owns the largest and, I dare say, most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues then? Yeah. Listen. You're gonna hear me repeat this in the review. But here's the main problem I have with this game. Your choices matter, right? Right? Your choices matter in this game they are very upfront about that but the problem is the problem is you get one answer wrong and you die that's the issue i'm having you compare this game to something like telltale right the walking dead series if you get an answer wrong you can pick an alternative route there is an alternative answer. You don't just fucking die. So I'm I'm just so flabbergasted how they punish you so hard. The fact that they punish you so hard when you pick a wrong answer in this game. And the fact that you have to restart the entire dialogue. And you wish quit. And you he can't skip it. Damn. And it's not even in Austin or Dallas. That's the main issue I got. A little town called, uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling is legal. You mean Ding Dong, Texas? <laughs> ding Dong. 
that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd ever think of a name like that? <laughs> well, casino or no casino, let's just hope he doesn't keep as many aces up his sleeve as the late Ventimiglia, huh? I got that Amori face so right now. Wearing brown boxes and weighing in at 396 pounds. Frank, show some respect, huh? The hospitality tycoon, Polly. Polly. No. Tycoon? I just own a small bar with pool tables. Clients drink close to nothing and play even less, but certain business transactions just couldn't happen anywhere else. Damn it, Polly. Why don't I know your last name? Because they took it away from me. You have no idea how good my ex wife's lawyer is. <laughs> Women, they even take our damn names. <laughs> you're too much, Polly. When you're done sightseeing, why don't you drop by La Iguana for a game of pool? And I'll buy you a drink. But I have to warn you. My clientele isn't crazy about fairy fellas such as yourself. Is that the first time they dropped furry? No, I don't think so. I love pool. Thanks. I love me some pool. Perfect. It'll be my pleasure. You're looking to start your own pool business, Farnham? This guy here wants to start a boxing association in Texas. And guess who he's turning to for advice? To be honest, several things got me worried. So I'd be much obliged. I think your Amoria was black, no, uh, well, not black side, backbone, right? Those their athletes hooking up with each other, like Al Stone and Helen Moore. I see you subscribe to What's News. Yeah, my star boxer. The reigning champion. He's having an affair with America's sweetheart. Hey, I got nothing against those two idiots falling in love. Don't get me wrong, but it's taking a toll on his performance. I don't think he'll lose against Yale, but I'm starting to worry a bit. Billy, Ma, bring out the bourbon. We're drying up. My second Amori. I'll deal with a fresh deck, of course. We respect traditions in this establishment. I Focus need a fucking drink right now. It is simple. Fuck, man. All you need to do is read people's faces. And even the worst detective has that trick up his sleeve. The real issue is knowing what to play for when there's much more than just money at stake. I could have... De I dealt with this yesterday because I... Play to win? Nah, I want to get... I want to get over it, man. Damn it. What again? How many games have you won in a row, Quince? <laughs> and here I was hoping that Farnham would steal your championship belt. Mark I don't care about words. winning, man. Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, hey, hey. By the way, did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic. But, um... What happened? Yesterday... Oh, playing bad luck. Hey, but If Farnham, I wasn't I'm sleepy, sure you know more about it than I, do. I don't think I could have made it. I don't think I could have made it, right? I'm awake today. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Damn, I don't like waiting. Kenny won't like it, but I'm not gonna sit here wondering. Billy Bob, pass me the phone. Come on, come on, come on. Sometimes you get the feeling that it's all gone Come wrong, on, bro! It's the same animation, man. Sorry, did I say sometimes? Huh. No, that only happens once in a lifetime. Fucking, fuck, give me that goddamn guy back, or I don't give a fuck about this goddamn game. Piece of shit ass fucking. Damn it, man. <sighs> poker night, poker night, poker night.
Black screen bed. Mark my words. Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, hey, hey. By the way, did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic. You know, I asked for this. Oh, playing bad luck. After Bright Memory, I asked for this. I did. I can't even blame I can't even blame anything else. Hey, but Farnham, I'm I'm sure you know more about it than I do. <sighs> okay. Anyway, Kenny. Thanks for fixing the game with Cassidy. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> the craziest goddamn Texan in New York. And the poor fella's already got enough on his hands now that his wife. Until Maybe I get okay, I am not done Martin with the segment. Until I right get to free roam. That's it, tranquilizer. Don't tell me women don't have their vices, too. Bring out the bourbon, Billy Bob. Come on. Come on. Give me, give me the bourbon. Maybe I spoke too soon when I said that poker is easy for a good detective. Even when you play to lose, it's best to win the occasional hand to avoid suspicion. But with Quince, it was just impossible. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be damned. I don't believe this. See what we mean, Farnham? I still don't get why you keep coming for more, boys. I'm starting to think you all lose on purpose. In which case, you're about to have a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Farnham. Came looking to make big bucks in the city with his boxing and he's gonna lose it all with poker. <laughs> I hope your counseling will make up for it. Yeah, so how can I be of help? What do I pick, bro? Come on, come on. Ask away. What? Rebel coaches like Joe Dunn. Oh, I see you've done your homework. That bastard wouldn't accept the most basic rules. For example, banning boxers from official competitions when the managers don't belong to my association. Hey. Don't get me wrong, I'm sorry for his death. But if they ever find the murderer, I'd be glad to pay his lawyer fees. Homicidal boxers like Bobby Yale. Ha! <laughs> That's some piece of news, huh? Hey, I don't know if he... Also, also, can I like to point out that if I can exhaust all the dialogue options, why are you, are, or why are you giving me a timer? That makes no sense to me. If I can pick every single dialogue option, why, what's the point of giving me a timer? Did it, but the real problem is that the fight against my champ Stone might not even freaking happen. The good news is that I've almost convinced the governor to let him out of prison on the day of the fight. Under police escort, that is. I bet you the audience gets a kick out of that. Come on, come on, let's steal another hand before Quince accuses us of trying to break his winning streak. Ain't gonna happen. Gentlemen, I suggest you never tell your sons about this game, unless you want to lose their respect. Wait, you mean our sons actually respect us? <laughs> I hear you. There's no way to set boys straight these days. They don't even respond to a good old beating. Then try not beating them. There are better ways to educate boys. Hey, careful, Quince. You're talking to a pro. So, uh, Kenny told me you had quite a house full. How many kids you got in that house full of yours? Here we go. Here we go again. Yeah, no, this is my favorite that segment. Son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. Even so, I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him die. 
Oh, it's a new QTE this time. It's not A. Also, this guy's fat as fuck. Unfortunately, I didn't break a sweat trying to save him. Um... How many Hello? kids you got in that house full of yours? Why is the QTE so hard? No. That son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist, oh, shit. perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. Although that wasn't the case, there I stood, watching him die, incapable of reacting. I was trying to get ready for the QTE and I accidentally pressed the button prematurely. I hate this fucking game. How many kids you got in that house full of yours? One thing I noticed too, we'll see if it happens now. The first time there's a mashing QTE, it's super fucking hard. Like, difficult to fucking complete. So you have to retry, and then automatically it becomes doable. Let's see if it happens here. I've noticed that. Yeah, I, I catch these, that okay? Son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist. Perhaps the vision of a million. Let's see how much easier it is. Would have made my day. Even so, I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him. Look die. how much easy. Look how much progression I'm making right now. Unfortunately, I didn't break a sweat trying to save him. Oh my fucking god, game! Come on, it ain't that serious, bro. Why do you make the QTE you so hard? Of yours. That's the only gameplay mechanic in this game. Why are you making it so difficult? No. I don't even know what that the button son is. Of a bitch was about to choke on his own Fuck vomit. it. I'm gonna try this again. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. Although that wasn't the case, there I stood. Watching him die, incapable of reacting. AJ, I'm gonna need you to come over and help me mash this fucking B button. How many kids you got in that house full of yours? How this game That's going so is fucking trash. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own. Ever since that one segment day. from last session, even so, it went downhill. I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him die. Unfortunately, I didn't break a sweat trying to save him. I'm gonna punch something. I'm actually gonna. I'm raging right now. Like I. Oh my god. How many kids you got in that house full of yours? No. That son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of right. a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. I'm gonna try my fucking heart out Even right here. So, I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him die. No, deserving or not, the man would live. Fuck! That took five fucking tries, by the way. I'd rather play Dark Souls. What at something? I don't know how you deal with all of them. All oh, boys, does it have to be now? Oh, never let Prince near one of your daughters. Come on, Folly. 
children are sacred. I won't get a finger on them until they're 12. After that, well, <laughs> let's just say some men have needs that uh, can only be met by young Oh, nice. Negative? <laughs> Hell yeah, we take those. Are you all right, Farnham? There's only two game gameplay mechanics to this fucking game. This cat sense and and the QTEs. And you make the QTEs the most difficult part of the game. Why? Why did you do that? You think motherfuckers want this this is supposed to be a cozy type of game. You sit down, you enjoy the story. You know, you're basically just, just watching a movie. Interactive movie. And you over here having me break a goddamn sweat. Mashing the goddamn B button, bro. What, what, is, what is wrong with you? Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. There goes your winning streak, you sick bastard. Right him out? Sooner or later, the police are gonna bust your ass. Quince. What the hell are you talking about? I bet you're as bad at hiding those poor girls as you are at keeping that ace up your sleeve. What? You lying piece of shit. QT? Quince. Yeah. Don't believe a word he's saying, Frank. Don't you dare call me Frank. Billy Bob. Yay, I'm not the one getting shot this time. It's 500 more. Huh. Washing up. Let's go. Fuck America, dude. Eagle looking ass, bitch. Hey, good call, Farnham. I owe you one. Please, take that flying scumbag's tokens. And mine too, if you want them. I'm feeling generous. Hey, turns out the governor accepted my suggestion to let Bobby yell out of prison on the day of the fight. Hey, this is turning out to be the perfect night. If you decide to go ahead with your new venture, call me Farnham. Your behavior at last night's game was utterly insulting. Never contact me again or I'll put an end to your pathetic life. If our common acquaintance should ask you about your business endeavors, Tell him that boxing is too violent for you. Signed, Frank Cassidy. What? I don't know what he just said. Was that behavior towards Farnham? My own tracks would be covered the following morning when Cassidy read this note from Farnham. Dear Mr. Cassidy, though I'm grateful for your kind help, last night's game made me realize that boxing is just too violent for a peaceful Texan like myself. I have decided to invest elsewhere. Yours sincerely, Howard M. Farnham II. Damn Texans. Am I done? Am I finally done with this stupid ass segment? This mission? Let me out! As for me, it was the first time in days that I had gone to bed without my daily beer. 
That could have taken out of context. Uh, excuse me? Nothing like a bruised body to help you to sleep like a baby. Maybe I should have given myself a beating. Stop saying beating. I didn't think I would get pissed off at the game like this. God damn, I'm mad. How long is this game? Supposedly 10 hours, which is too long for a game like this. Black side. I just want to make my deductions, bro. I got four available. Please. I really want to beat the game tonight. I really do. I don't want to open this. No more. It was like this when I got here. Did you call the police? No, only you. Good. Calm down. I'll take care of this. Deductions? Look at that, I got four. But I just couldn't do shit. Okay. Yale. Okay, okay, okay. Has to be connected. It looks like O'Leary has rigged the fight between Stone and Yale. Do I got any more? Two more? All right, all right. Helen Moore carries a cigarette case. There it is. Hello, T. How you doing? Untouchable. Okay, okay. What would go together with that? No. Kind of having a bad night, to be honest. Damn. Hopefully, uh... Things start looking up soon. This game is pissing me off. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's not the play? No. Romantic pictures, cigarette case. It's pretty clear that Helen Moore's cigarette case was a gift from O'Leary. All right. Do I have any more? Two more deductions, okay.
are still in love. If she's still in love, why does she claim she hates him? What is she hiding? Is there more? One more. It has to do something with O'Leary, Yale, and his dad. But I don't know the fourth link. I don't know the fourth link. Okay, maybe uh, it could be a footprint thing. Because it wasn't Yale's. No? Okay. It could be the racial slur. No. I have no idea. Hmm. I was going to say the doctor could be his dad or some shit. Maja, I noticed you took off. Can I play reward? Yeah, I don't think anybody was using it, so. Dang, you and Switch. Y'all got eyes like a fucking hawk. No, I, I took that off, I think, yesterday. Or a few days ago. I don't know what the fuck... <sighs> Footprint racial slur? No. I, I made... I like how that... That channel reward, like... Started off after the whole Monster Hunter bullshit. And also Dauntless. Those two right there. I don't want to look this up. Come on, figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Some of these deductions are dumb, by the way. They have no correlation with each other whatsoever. How can you not deduct that it's not Yale's footprints? Well, eh. oh, you hardly play multiplayer games. What? What you mean? I think it's the opposite, <laughs> to be honest. Come on, man. What would it be? What would it be? Wait, 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 wait. 
What if it's a racial slur and him showing dominance? Okay. Well. Am I missing something? There's like an empty space up there, man. I think I'm missing something. But I have it one available, so one of these puzzle pieces connects. Okay. All right, I'm just going to do what I did last time. So, have these three together. And then I already picked this one with that combo. Let's try this. I that has nothing to do with it. No. So then Let's do this again. What would it be, bro? What would it be? There's something missing here. Is it? No way. No. This doesn't make any sense. I'm over it. Had you already finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. Imagine playing Fortnite in 2022? Bingo. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly signed contract. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious they weren't looking for money. Hmm. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. Did they take anything? No. Although... When you went in the hospital room to get your purse, did you get the gun as well? Yes. Isn't it there? I put it back. I'd rather not go through that again. <sighs> That's too bad. It looks like they took it. I didn't want to believe her, but whatever. Are we real? You want to fight us at the Walmart parking lot? Because we don't like Fortnite. Okay, T. Okay, dude. Is this yours? Mm, I think it belongs to the new cleaning lady. Mary just wasn't working out, so she left. Clarice Freeman? Yes. You think she did this? I would fight over Witcher, but Fortnite? That's a new low tea. Black said, please, go up. 
Hmm. How did you come to that conclusion? Uh, okay. Wait here, please. Nice loading screen. Damn. Picture? Uh. Just picture her saying, Honey, I found a job. We're finally gonna make ends meet. You you did not Bro, that is so distasteful. <laughs> why would you voice at why would you imitate her when she's dead? That is fucked up. Hmm. Could be a knife wound. The murder was brutal. A floating knife? Nice. F. This is the second dead body she's seen throughout this game. I want you to call the police, Sonia, and then go straight to a friend's house. Don't even think about going home and definitely don't come back here. I'm, I'm staying at a friend's house. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. Told you, he's the worst detective. Great. Do you have the keys? If the murderer didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop. If he hasn't been there yet. <sighs> I'm not expect- I don't know, man. If they do a huge plot twist, would I respect the game more? I don't know. Because those last two missions really pissed me off, bro. Holy shit. It was so bad. For once I had the keys to the place. Which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks or... I think cause uh... <sighs> because uh... He's... I don't think he's got anything to do with the case. He's a private investigator, so if he called the police, it, it would have looked kind of bad. Vigilante, you know? Or some shit. Oh my god! Bro, this is so annoying. Okay, 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 fine. Fine, fine, fine. You want to go? <laughs> Fuck's sakes, bro. ready-made meals on airplane trays in front of the TV. 
Who would have thought we'd end up eating like this? You know, they say they're a cat or whatever animal they are, but they never use their fucking animal abilities. Dunn died four days ago, and that lettuce still looks okay. Why'd you close it so aggressively? Damn. Of course. Now I see how Dunn bought the apartment he was going to share with Mary. This place has to be empty in two weeks for the new owners. I wonder if Sonia knows about this. He was going to move in with Mary. Hmm. Sardines. It's been open for a few hours. Okay, I can make a deduction from that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sardines and open can of sardines. It's pretty clear that the burglar came by the house before heading to the gym, which means he probably didn't find what he was looking for in here. There is one more deduction, but I don't fucking know what it is, which is a little annoying. Here, let's see. Do we have any new clues? Maybe the footprint? Come on. Does he have a tail? Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. I can't see any. Unless he has it tucked behind his back. Which will... I don't know how cats are, but I feel, I feel like that would be uncomfortable. It looks like Dunn had already begun to move his things. Done. Thorpe? Hmm. No idea. And these the doctor! Two, they look familiar. That's the doctor! Right? No? Bruh! <sighs> it's hard to believe that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this. Although I'm sure he had the lungs for it. I don't care about these collectibles anymore. Stop. As I glanced at the telephone, I remembered the weekly password for O'Leary's illegal gambling operation. Even though I had rejected his reward for telling him about Colbert and his wife, I had managed to make my own dirty money by ratting out the eagle pimp during our poker game. How much damage could a small bet do? What harm could I do? Only the invisible type. Okay. It doesn't look like anyone picked the lock. What? You didn't give me anything new, game. Oh, this game's on crack. This game's 
game. This game is fucking stupid, bro. <coughs> Another empty closet. My dear Mary, I bring you to the root bring you to this rooftop, the place where our love was born. Where the love I feel for you was born to give you this ring and This is too private. He's already dead. It don't matter, bro. You're a detect- Oh my god, dude. You still looked at her every morning? So many years later, with a new love? Maybe we don't need to forget. Maybe pain just transforms into... I don't know. Something. Oh, now you're judging him, huh? Yeah, real nice, Black Sad. Real nice, dude. Is this how he got in? Elaine. I think that was Dunn's wife's name, according to Jake. Isn't this a famous painting? It looks like, um, that one famous painting. I forgot what it's called, though. All right, game. Are you gonna lie to me again? Do I have? Do I actually have a deduction? Starry night. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna keep lying to me. Yeah, you know, you know. Fucking piece of shit. Could this be the origin of Sonya's interest in business management? Under your skin? One of the very few teen idols who only got better with age. What's this doing here? <laughs> no matter how hard I look, I'm not getting anywhere. I need to talk with Sonia, and maybe with her uncle, Tim. Okay. It brings back... I don't know. Good memories? Good memories? An optimist, are we? It's like remembering the last day of summer. Scenes full of joy, picturesque landscapes, and yet the light is faint and the air is still. The calm before the storm. I know that feeling. I figured that much. I can see it in your eyes. We met in the army. <laughs> we were all professional athletes. They called us the Olympic Five. If I come to find out that, that this reptile right here is actually the fake doctor for Yale, then I know this fucking game is padding the fucking game out. Who's the guy on the left? Ah, Viktor Sukovsky, the athlete. You've probably heard of his medals. What about you? I had just signed with the Milestones. I hadn't even played my first game, but people said I had a bright future ahead of me. But the war got in the way of that bright future. Huh? No, I made it big when I came back. Best time of my life. Don't you remember that cop at the hospital? The one who let me in in exchange for an autograph? Trust me, nobody calls you Iron Arm if you're just sitting on the bench.
Who would have thought that I'd end up becoming Tim Iron Legs Thor? T, please. I fought the Nazis for two years, up there in the sky, over Europe. And I never set foot in a field hospital. Three years later, I crossed the street without looking. And look at me now. Hey, isn't that Craig Spano? The guy on the Morley's billboards? Yes, indeed. Our captain. He was the oldest, after all. And star of the New York Warriors. <laughs> he was an orphan, you know. But he loved the sport so much that he said baseball was his family. Was Dunn already boxing? Yes, he was. I had already seen him fight before I even met him. He was as humble in the ring as he was in life. He'd always let his rivals take the initiative. I remember how he barely dodged the blows. If you didn't look at his feet, it seemed like he wasn't even moving. And the footwork, pure dancing. You could almost hear the music. The song would play until his opponent was exhausted. Then came the drum roll, followed by Dunn's victory by KO. I honestly don't care. Who's the guy on the right? Angus Mitchell, our combat medic, and a doctor with the New York Warriors, which is how he met Spanow. It was Spanow who got him assigned to our platoon. What happened to all of them? Zukovsky died the same day the injured Dunn. Dunn received an honorable discharge and came home. He quit boxing and opened his gym. Mitchell was redeployed to a field hospital. Spano and I continued in the same unit, but nothing was ever the same. You see what I meant with the last day of summer. And after the war, well, who the hell cares? I do. No, you don't. I don't. What happened to Spano? Well, you've seen the billboards. He made it big time. When I was forced to retire, I got him some advertising deals. That's how I founded this agency. But then, something happened to him. He became sullen. He fell out of shape, and slowly but surely, lost touch with reality. He withdrew from public life and broke off our friendship. Haven't heard from him in, uh, what, three years? And believe me, I've tried to contact him. What happened to Mitchell after the war? Mitchell? Who knows? We lost touch. I hope he's doing well. You think Spano might have been involved in Dunn's death? Spano? No way. He and Dunn were always... Well, Spano's changed so much that it's hard to say. I think I saw Mitchell not too long ago, but I can't remember where. Seriously? Please try to remember. I'd love to hear from him again. I'll do my best. Allow me to double your wage. You have to find the murderer. Maybe Dunn stayed in touch with Mitchell or Spano. Maybe even with both. But he never told me anything. Maybe Sonia knows. I doubt it. But that's not the only question I've got for her. May I? Stop telling me that. Yes? Sonia? No, she's not here. Who's calling? Where is she? That was weird. Just get to the point. Was your father still in... Have you ever wished you'd never been born? All what? the time. All the time. Hey. I live with that constant thought. Then we're both in the same boat. First time was right after moving to New York. I hated my mother. She was the reason we moved from the countryside and the smell of freshly mowed grass to this dirty city and the smell of medicine. Her medicine. The second time was after she died. 
I hated myself for having hated her before. For not having loved her enough. The third time was when my father shut himself off. I hated him for that. For abandoning me. For giving in to the booze. Now he's dead, so... Take a guess. You hate yourself for having hated him. Yes, but... That's not the worst of it. The problem is I don't know how to live without hating him. Over the last few years, everything I've done was meant to push my father far away. To avoid being like him. To avoid making his same mistakes. Without him, I just don't know who I am. <laughs> and you won't even let me hate Bobby. Which might actually help me. Careful who you hate. They all seem to end up dead. You think I don't know that? I need someone to blame. Without that someone, I have only myself to hate. What if I don't find the person who did this? We'll have to wait and see. But I believe you will. You've already come so far. I'm sorry I haven't been a little more grateful. In any case, you shouldn't hate yourself. You are... No, you have such good qualities. I guess give her the whole shebang? You're kind, smart, and beautiful. Are you really trying to flatter me now? No, I... Seriously, I didn't mean to... Sorry. Anyway, can we just drop the subject? Did you go to my father's apartment? Yes. The thief went there before coming to the gym. Which leads me to believe he didn't find what he was looking for. And what was he looking for? That's what I intend to find out. With your help. I saw your old room. That's embarrassing. Stop, or I'll end up hating you. I found a baseball glove with Spano's autograph in your room. Oh, I've never seen it. My father must have put it there, although I don't remember him having a signed glove. Did the abacus inspire you to dabble in finances? The most useful gift anybody has ever given me. A gift from your Uncle Tim? He used to say that in this day and age, a woman should know how to count. My father didn't agree, but he didn't oppose it either. People thought he was a liberal because of his attitude towards racial issues. But at home, things were different. Interesting. It's odd that there are practically no toys or memories of your childhood in the room. Except for a small music box. That box? It might just be my last happy memory. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates. So my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. X marks the spot, so I, I dug to find my treasure. I loved the music it played, the ballerina and the little secret compartment. Oh, the secrets I kept in there. You know, not seeing her face, her I cat face. The first time I heard you call your father. She's a Daddy. good voice actor. Uh, the cat face ruins it. Really? <laughs> Especially with that music in the background. I'm also a fan of Frank Papalia. Oh, yeah, the poster. 
I only liked him because my father thought he was too modern. Your father sold his apartment. The new owners move in in two weeks. What? I'm sorry. I think he used the money to buy a new place with Mary Purnell. You'll have to talk to her sooner or later. Yes. I guess Wait a I minute. owe it to my father in spite of it all. We just told her that she was... She was seeing Mary. Eh, fuck it. She's a liar anyways. I found a picture taken during the war. <laughs> the Olympic Five. Did you meet any of them, besides your father and uncle? Well, Uncle Tim actually isn't my uncle. No? He and my father loved each other like brothers. Did he tell you that he saved his life? I was thinking maybe he killed uh, Dunn, but he's in a wheelchair. I don't know about that. Thorpe saved your father? They were flying over Brittany in a three-unit fighter plane. Zukovsky was the pilot, my father was the co-pilot, and my uncle manned the machine gun. Suddenly, enemy fire killed Zukovsky and injured my father, which is why he never boxed again. My uncle jumped out of the gun turret, ran to the cockpit, and managed to pilot the plane to safety. Oh, the times my father told me that story. And now... I don't understand why she decided to become a furry. Did you ever meet Spano? What can you tell me about him? I think I saw him once, but I was just a little girl. I think my uncle turned him into a star. That was a long time ago. Did you ever meet Mitchell, the doctor? Mitchell? The lizard? No, never. Why? Oh, nothing. I think I've seen him somewhere. Bro, they keep fucking hinting that he's the doctor at the hospital. This game really is padding the game hours. Holy shit. Well, I think you've already answered all my questions. <laughs> it's about time. I thought you were waiting for me to freeze out here. Anyway. Thanks for the company. Sonia, thank you. Aren't you coming? I don't want us to be a thing. Keep walking, bitch. I knew I was looking at a solution, but what exactly needed solving? Here it is, isn't it? Here it is. Here it is. Right? Right? Oh, no. Never mind. Three deductions? Okay, cameraman. <laughs> yeah, he was zooming into that. Oh, under tire tree, and then the picture. Hmm, maybe Dunn used the same hiding place once more. That's a dick nose. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath. Focus oh fuck, I didn't know I need to match! I'm dead. I'm dead. Bro, the mashing in this game, the first try? Save my breath for the final roar. It's always that it's always they always make it difficult in the first try. I hate this game so fucking much. Watch how much easier it is. The second time is going to be easier, for some fucking reason. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. 
I hate this game so much, man. Why was that so... Why that took so long? And that didn't work. Yeah, you know. I, I, I fucking did this. I did exactly what the game told me to, but that didn't want to work, did it? No, it didn't. This game is so trash. Oh my god, I got a mash again. Fuck sakes. Oh, this game is so trash, man. I'll never understand why detectives and criminals bluster while they fight each other in the pictures. What a waste of breath, focus, and energy. Okay, that has to be scripted. That one? I'm mashing like a cunt. It's not the lack of credibility in the screenplay that bothers me. Plus, it's actually pretty handy. When a crook talks to you in the middle of a fight, you know you're up against a rookie. I don't give a fuck about you. You think I'm gonna let you live after I died four times? You got me fucked up. Running out of nine lives here. What did they say? <clears throat> Nothing serious. I lost another one of my nine lives. <sighs> oh, I can't make this shit up, man. I can't make left. it up. I'm in the red. He hasn't woken up yet? Nope. We're gonna be here a while. Vulpine, seven letters. What? Devious? Hmm. You think that's the same thing? No, no, no. Sounds a bit off to me. Rakes of sardines, hmm? Interesting. Okay. Wait, I know. Vulpine, seven letters. Cunning. What are you looking for? Nothing. Will he live? He'll live. So what have you found out? Randall Lee. Apparently in love with our penitentiary system, judging by the frequency of his visits. Theft, assault, extortion. You know, minor things of the sort. Any partners? Always works alone. He's never ratted out his employers, provided they exist. Did you find anything? Is this our man? Do you have proof? Stop asking me questions! Sardines... Um... Where is the smart... Where, where, where is the smart... Smart... Sardines! No, you're not gonna give me sardines? Alright, fuck you then. Fine, we'll just go with the fucking gene pack. Gene grip. Hmm. Looks like we know who tore his pants following Clarice Freeman up to the rooftop.
His pants have a tear in them. I found a piece of that same fabric at the gym, on the stairs that lead to the rooftop where we found the second body. Makes sense, but how many pairs of ripped pants are walking around New York City? <laughs> I don't call that evidence. You gonna give me the sardines now? Oh, we could do the document. What? What do you mean? Why is it gotta be so specific, bro? It's so stupid. The guy who broke into the gym in Dunn's place has a thing for sardines. Did you smell his breath? Right, because there's only one sardine fanatic on this side of the Hudson. I need something more. Can I finally connect these now? I saw footprints from those very same shoes next to both the gym murders. Unless you're telling me that shoe is a limited edition, I'm gonna need something else. Jesus Christ, you're the worst fucking cop on the planet, bro. At least we know he's not crooked. Two thugs tried to scare me into leaving the case, but one of them was trigger happy. What? I doubt it. It has to be this, because this one's new. One of the thugs that attacked me the other night had a snout just like his. I'm sorry, but you can't incriminate someone based solely on species. What else you got? What more do you need? I've given you four pieces of evidence. I'm gonna tear that None fucking crossword puzzle. He tried to throw me off the rooftop. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. He's our man. No, he's not our man. Make up your mind. He's just a puppet. Someone is pulling his strings. Hmm. Could it be Yale? He's hiding something for sure, but I don't think he did it. By the way, was he discharged? His room is empty. They let him out yesterday. He's in police custody now. You can tell he's an athlete. Made quite the comeback. Anyone else would have taken 10 times How the long. fuck are those glasses Man, staying on your nose? better be fine. You know they've ordered me to escort him to Madison Square Garden on the day of the fight. That's the first I hear of it. Quick, what do you want? Good cop or bad cop? Bad. I'm the bad guy. Okay. <laughs> Good thing someone took out the trash. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Lee. I assume you're aware that you're about to be accused of murder, and that thanks to the witness testimonies of Mr. Blacksad and Miss Dunn, your future is not looking too good. Go to hell, you dog. I swear that if I catch you outside, you'll wish you were in hell. Blacksad, stay out of this. Remember who's the cop here. Maybe we can offer you a deal. I'm we supposed to be back, cop. You killed Joe Dunn and Clarice Freeman. What do you have to say? I'll call your bluff. You ain't got nothing.
If you tell us who hired you, we'll help you. Uh, yeah, sure. What can you offer me? How much is your life worth to you? Don't pay attention to him, Mr. Lee. We aren't vigilantes. Yeah, but we are. We can significantly reduce your sentence. You're pathetic. Is that why you never got in the police force, Black said? Did you fail the good cop, bad cop test? I won't say a word. And well. believe me, you stand to lose. Care for a piece of advice? If I were you, I'd fear for my life. I'm afraid that... Whoa! Damn! Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some action. He's right there. That looked like a girl. Luckily, Smirnov's wound wasn't as bad as Randall's. Unfortunately, the police found nothing on the nearby rooftops. Our best shot at finding the killer was gone. So I went back to my previous lead. It's from before my mother got sick and we moved here. I loved reading stories about pirates, so my father drew a treasure map for me. I searched the whole house one clue at a time. It led me to this enormous tree in the yard where Daddy had put up a, a tire swing. Yes. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck? Game. It's not that serious. Oh my god. You are so fucking annoying. Are you fucking kidding me? Can I use space bar? Is there another option here? Is it a, is it the mouse? Holy fuck. Hello, Smirnoff residence. You're Let's dead. No, I got you with my lasso. Can you quiet down, kids? Dunn got killed for stirring the hornet's nest. And you confessed your crime. Kids, please. He'd been investigating athletes for months, including Helen Moore and Al Stone, among others. Mm. Dunn's notes aren't all that clear, and I'm not sure what he was after. Mm. But I'd say we're facing a widespread corruption case. Well, if you're right some dangerous evidence. Bring it here ASAP. This sure, sounds like endgame. important that I need to finish first. Low key. I cannot wait to get to the credits. I wanted to follow a certain lead on my own before Smirnov had the chance to see anything.
According to his notebook, Dunn had seen Craig Spano at Sam's diner just four days before his death. Get out of here, pussy! Oh, you finally said the P word! Beat it or what? Well, I can't make up my fucking mind. Either call the cops or beat your ass. Which would you prefer? It might have been easier to slap the information out of him. But I decided to trust in a universal truth. Everyone is guilty of something. You don't know who I am, right? Don't know and don't care. Come on, spit it out. I'm John H. Blackmore from the Consumer Protection Office. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> there are some real freaks around here, so I have to be firm, you know? Have you eaten? Dinner's on the house. Only if you don't treat me like the rest of your clients. You have far too many complaints. Will you cooperate? Sure, go ahead. Your call. Always at your disposal, Inspector. Ask away. Fear turned him soft and made him talk. He was born sure soft. Enough, Dunn had been there a few days back with a chimpanzee who matched Spano's description. Apparently, the guy still lived with his father. Dunn said he couldn't stay there a day more. For the time being, he would move into his place. Wait a minute here. What does consumer protection have to do with that chimp? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But you were easy to fool. I left him speechless, huh? Man, if you don't stop telling me about new deductions... Dunn had taken Spano to his place. I wanted to believe that when Randall Lee broke into the apartment, Spano fled to his former address. But where could that be? Okay, living with his father... Um, this one? I got you. If the living have rich and poor neighborhoods, so do the dead. In the mid-19th century, Greenwood became the resting place to the city's most distinguished citizens. Thinkers, scientists, writers, inventors, artists, businessmen, politicians, police officers, thieves, pimps, and murderers. Excuse me? Why did you list so many fucking professions off? Here lie the bodies of the soulless minds that raised New York from the ground up. Now you know where to go to become somebody in the Big Apple. You're saying he lives here? Does he, like, use one of the, uh, graves? I've never trusted angels. When they fall... All hell breaks loose. All hell breaks loose. The four bases guarding their father. Mm -hmm. 
It'd be even better with a skull between the bats. That's... okay. According to the book I found at Dunn's place, fans of the sport leave baseballs on Bradwick's tomb to pay their respects. This is probably my favorite uh, aesthetic so far in the game. I don't know, it just looks, this is like the nicest looking level here. Stir it. If this had been here over thirty minutes, it'd be covered in ants. Where would he be? Behind the tree? Another collectible. I thought I checked it already, but I guess I didn't. That's it. Hmm. I don't see any more clues, Mike. I remember I got a matching wallet to go with my cow uh, cow outfit. Was it like the same pattern? What am I looking for here? You think there will be a trail with the food wrapper and the Chinese takeout thing? Fireflies. Now what the fuck? Maybe I got it from the same place. Hmm. Not need the fuck. Thank you. 
What do you want from me, game? I don't got time for this, man. You're bullshitting right now. <laughs> I got no shame in looking this up. Not in this game. I'm over this fucking game. It's got some. It's got to do something with this tree, right? How are you gonna stop at the candy wrapper? Where the fuck? Let's try deductions. Let's try to doctor thing again. I f Bruh! Mitchell, who fought with Dunn during the war, tried to pass as Yale's doctor. Oh, this game is so trash, dude! I figured that out since the beginning of the fucking game, bitch. Oh my god, you're so trash. Now you wanna, now you wanna put the two, the fucking connect the dots, huh? Fuck sakes. Ant Eater killed Joe Dunn. Okay. We still have this fucking thing to figure out. O'Leary wouldn't have sent Randall to kill Dunn. He would have dragged him to his basement, given him his little speech, and then killed him himself. All right. Now that that fucking deduction is over, I don't have any more, right? I'm good. All right, we got no deductions available. Good. That was going to piss me off. My OCD, man. There still has the mystery of what the fuck do I need to do here? Do I follow the fireflies? Aha. Uh -huh. It's above the tree. There's a collectible right there. Do I care about it? Not really. He's right fucking there. I think I'm blind or something, game?
Why are you smiling like that? He's really proud of himself for this one. What the fuck? I found a baseball glove at Joe Dunn's place. A glove signed by a great star. I couldn't believe my luck. Joe Dunn met with someone at the diner, close to his gym. Then he took that person to his house, so that he didn't have to live at the cemetery. I would have never guessed the person's identity. I'm investigating a case of sports corruption. I think a considerable amount of athletes are involved, both current celebrities and former stars. Fucking creepy ass. John Blackside, private investigator. How's Joe? One question at a time. It's my turn. Your turn. Why are you hiding here? Because I, I fear for my life. Because it, this is the only place where I've, I feel safe. Because Joe took me to his home. They went looking for me there, too. What did he want from you? And who wants to kill you? One question at a time. How's Joe? What would happen if I told him the truth? Would he lose it? Could I take that chance? Truth is better than lying. I don't care what situation it is. Lying is never a good thing. Joe Dunn is dead. Murdered. I told you, Joe. How did it happen? One question at a time, my man. One question at a time. My turn. Um... Why did you meet with Dunn? Why did you meet with Joe Dunn? Because he thought that the same guy who wrecked my career was ruining many others. Because he wanted me to tell him who was behind my decline. Because Joe knew the same guy would go after him too. And he was right. Our old friend, the surgeon. The reptile? Preach! Is Mitchell the surgeon? Is he the person behind all of this? That surgeon you mentioned, is he... My turn. Oh my god, I thought he was about to get fucking sniped or something. I want to know why I should trust you. We're low-key distancing our ourselves? He might run? Because I never lie? 
Do it for Joe Dunn, our common friend. It's my turn. That surgeon that you mentioned, is he in this photo I got here? Ow! Hey! The fuck? Uh, He's gone. Hey, that toss was... Both my ear and my self-esteem would hurt for days. But at least I had a new lead to follow. The surgeon. The bastard had avoided my scrutiny by passing as a hospital doctor. But now, How can you see anything with your fucking guard, high no beams on, bitch? Black well side is one of those guys, huh? Find him. So, what you're saying is, one, there's a corruption scandal involving all kinds of athletes. Two, our puppet master is a surgeon named Mitchell, a man who happened to fight in the war with Dunn, right? Every lead I've found points to him. Anyway, where was I? Number three, right? Three, since Dunn was on his trail, Mitchell hired an anteater to get rid of him. Then, since you were also shaking the wasp's nest, he went after you. But the anteater made a mistake, and Mitchell killed him to cover his own tracks. And, wait, four. The key to all this lies with the common friend of Dunn's and Mitchell's, Craig Spenow. Do you really trust him? He's still hiding something. I have the feeling there's something Craig didn't tell me. I don't know what exactly, but I'll find out. Four. No, I mean, five. Dunn was murdered five, I mean, four days after taking Spenno to his house. If that doesn't make him suspect, makes sense, doesn't it? It's fuck, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it could make sense. Ha! <laughs> Who's the detective now? I did all the fucking work. What do you mean? You haven't Let's done follow shit. follow up with the suspects. You told Smirnoff that even though you're sure Yale is innocent, you think he's hiding something. But what about O'Leary? Um, six. Nah, I know O'Leary. And he wouldn't have sent a hitman. He would have taken matters into his own hands. What about Cassidy? Seven, right? Um... Cassidy acts recklessly by impulse. And his murder was planned. I think it's safe to rule out Cassidy as Dunn's murderer. He seems too impulsive to have planned such a twisted crime. Whoever planned the whole thing knew the suicide theory would fall through. So he manipulated the clues to incriminate Yale. Cassidy is too impulsive to pull off such an intricate plan. So, you're right. Mitchell is the one pulling the strings. And you know why? Because, in novels, the murderer is always someone the detective knows from the beginning. Well, that could be the case in British novels. You know where everyone in the mansion where the murder took place is a suspect. But this might just be an American whodunit, where the detective doesn't even meet the culprit until the last scene. You mean we still don't know who's pulling the strings? I didn't say that. How did it go with Helen Moore? Uh, I didn't get anything, even though it started out really well. I asked to interview her along with her boyfriend. Why are we zooming in some, uh, on this? Shot. They were happy to a block. And he got cut off. Perfect. Now, time for the interview. I'll go back and forth so you don't get bored. So, who goes first? Oh my god, I'm playing as him now? 
Like, oh shit. Here's a question for Al. In just 12 days, the contender will try to steal your belt. Any thoughts on your fight against Yale? Uh, yeah, sure. My Al is going to kick that thug's behind. Isn't that so, honey? Yeah, well, we'll see. No such thing as a weak rival. Nonsense. You are and will be world champion. Next question. Okay, now. Here's one for Helen. What can you say about the rumors that claim you were in a relationship with Desmond O'Leary? Oh, honey. It would be such a shame to mention that shady character in your article, wouldn't it? Why? I'm sure your newspaper would hate to fire someone as talented as you. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Moving on. Just take the picture. Time for a picture. How should we pose? Love birds. Okay, how about a hug? I want to feel the love. Am I really getting a tutorial on how to take a picture right now? Are you serious? You're the envy of all America. Now what? Here's one for both of you. How did you meet? At the party organized by Des- Ow! Who threw the party doesn't matter one bit. What matters is that I saw you and you saw me. Our paths crossed and our lives were changed forever. Okay, one more question and... Oh. Al, honey, can you answer it? I've got to go say hi to a fan. <laughs> I'll be right back, Mr. Pulitzer. <laughs> Wait. You mean she stopped smiling when that fan showed up? Uh, yeah. Could you describe him for me? I'll be able to show you something as soon as I'm done developing these pictures. And actually, I thought it was odd, too. So while I continued to interview Stone, I managed to take some pictures of Moore and whoever her mysterious fan was. All right, so uh, where were we? Um. Are you ever jealous about sharing your sweetheart with America? Well, uh, I wouldn't say I'm jealous, but I know that someone so popular and honest can draw the wrong kind of attention. There are plenty of people who would love to put an end to her career, so it's not easy. Let's get that picture taken. Mm. Okay, now raise your head and your arms up like you were celebrating a victory. Like this? Exactly. Yeah, <clears throat> Mark. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> fucking, uh... Can't, I can't get your hand in the fucking frame, bro. It's just... Yeah, you know. Wait, I, I accidentally moved. Stand still. I'll take another one. Are you serious? What's with me today? Don't move, please. Now we got it. Should we keep at it? We gotta alternate. We gotta go picture, question, picture, question. Your manager is Frank Cassidy, president of the Boxing Managers Association of New York. According to him, only boxers working with member managers should be allowed to compete. What do you think about that? Cassidy is a great manager, really. No complaints there. And the work he's putting in as president of the association is really valuable. But, I don't know, maybe in this case, <clears throat> Joe Dunn was right. Wait, no. Could you keep that last comment uh, off the record? You know, on the down low. My lips are sealed. I'm going to take one more, all right? Turn around and show me those biceps from behind. Like that? That's it. What's up with me? 
Stand still. I'll take it again. I can't seem to get the reptile. It right. Don't move. Um, it's about thank you. time. Finally, we're all set. Wait, so are you telling me the photos are developed, or is that what you said to Stone? <laughs> Both. Just look. Who's that guy? I know he's not a fan. You should have seen her face when she saw him. How much do you think each bicep weighs? A lot. But less than your tongue. <laughs> You're hilarious. Who's that guy? I know he's not a fan. Fuck. You should have seen her face when she saw him. I don't care about any of these. I only care about the fucking reptile. I think she only smokes when she's nervous. What was making her nervous? Look at his hand. Is he pulling something out of Moore's purse? Or putting it in? Hmm. I've seen that matchbox before. This game is really padding the game hours. Wait, that's him. Who? Mitchell, the surgeon. Seriously? <laughs> we got him. Not yet. Right. We still have to find him. Mm. Hey, pal. Did you hear what I just said? We need to keep looking at all those pictures. We need a clue that'll take us to Mitchell. Hey, see? There. Just like I was saying. Brawls aren't even the worst part of my job. Sure, you may take a beating, but at least you get the chance to defend yourself. But when you're sitting in your car all night, there's no way out. Your legs cramp up, your back and neck feel stiff, your entire body aches to be somewhere else. It's boring. And repetitive. Just like this game. I mean, what? People were finally leaving the place. The bar was about to close. And I hadn't seen Mitchell go in or out. I had no choice. I see you took me up on my invitation. And you're smart. You knew not to come until my anti-fur regulars had all cleared out. I can't say no to good advice. Or good bourbon. Here's looking at you, Mr. Uh, what was your name? As far as I knew, La Iguana always stayed neutral. He played poker with Cassidy, but his joint was used as the gambling drop-off for O'Leary's operation. Did it make sense to keep faking it? Or was it too dangerous not to? Uh, keep faking it. Farnham. Howard M. Farnham II. That's right. Howard Farnham from Ding Dong, Texas. Your 
natural. That sure beats your poker game. Uh, this here's much easier. No cheating. <laughs> you barely flinched when Cassidy decided to teach that eagle a lesson. What do you want a fella to say? Between you and me, partner, this ain't my first showdown. <laughs> we all got our own. That dude body. is hella big. Damn it. Well, nobody's perfect. Tell me, what do you really want with Cassidy? I can't say it's clear to me. I'm looking to start a boxing manager's association in Texas. I could really use Cassidy's know-how. Don't worry about it. I was only curious. So, what about me? What do you want from me? No one comes to La Iguana just to drink and play pool. I'm here looking for a regular of yours. Dr. Angus Mitchell. What for? Uh That's between mm. Dr. Mitchell and myself. No offense. I don't have time to explain how things work here at Laguana, but I'll be blunt. Not this way. You don't understand. I have to talk to him or else. Or else what? I don't think Cassidy would be too happy about the role this here dump plays in old Leary's gambling operation. You follow me? Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Give me your phone number, and I'll give you a call when Mitchell shows up. No. You're going to call him right now, and you're going to give him this message. Hmm. But when you're sitting in your car all night, there's no way out. Your legs cramp up. Your back and neck feel stiff. Your entire body aches to be somewhere else. It's boring and repetitive. It's you so say that. It's so bad that your thoughts spiral in a never-ending loop. Like when you're stuck in your car, on surveillance duty, The owner of La Iguana was supposed to tell Mitchell that a certain anteater was still alive and that it was only a matter of time before he ratted him out. With a bit of luck, that would make him nervous enough to force his hand. Now all I had to do was follow him. This gotta be endgame. I really hope so. We're kinda... We're getting close to the 8 hour mark. And uh, on how long to beat is 10 hours. So I'm not too sure.
That was the other. Oh, that was the other guy. In the alley. He went in without it. I wonder what's in it. Can I make a deduction from that? All right, what am I hearing? The radio? Hmm. We'll be just fine, don't worry. Gil, stand guard right here. If the cat shows up, you know what to do. I'll be back in an hour. After seeing these cars, I kind of want to play Mafia again. Or get back into it. Uh-huh. Yes. Please. Could I take him by surprise from over there? Although I don't know how I'd get there. How the fuck? Okay. Super jump? Super cat jump? You got this. I believe in you. Oh. New deduction, though. Let's see. Of course, he's Randall Lee's partner. I should be careful. When they gave me a beating, I could see he was kind of trigger happy. I'm assuming I climbed the stairs over there and then jump from building to building. Anything back here? There has to be a collectible, right? Like, you made me walk all the way over here. No? Ah, there you go. There's probably one more collectible in that trash can over there, but I, can have, I cannot be bothered. I want to see credits. I am being this game today. If not before the uh, squad session, definitely after. You give me so much room to explore, but I can't interact with anything. Oh, I'm not supposed to climb up the stairs? Interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe it is back here? I don't know how that would make much sense. What you mean, game? I can't even go to that alley. I need the fuck. Can you stop getting stuck? I'm pretty sure that's where I was hiding. Maybe something with the forklift? Oh, okay. I was not expecting this. Also, before we proceed, I gotta piss. I've been holding it in. BRB.
All right. So what do you want me to do, game? I did not expect the forklift whatsoever. At least controlling it. Maybe this? Uh Okay. Honestly, there was a million thousand ways to get up here, but I guess Hold on, I gotta get ready to mash. Stay put. See what happens. Okay, never mind. Do I have to time this right? No, right? No way. Hold on. Ain't no holding on. There is no way I gotta time this right. You're asking too much, game. He always ends up being too far. Okay, so if I move forward, he moves back. Okay. Once he comes back, I move forward. Fuck! Nah, that's fucking scripted, bro. Ain't no fucking way. Nah. Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, 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 faster. There you go. Don't growl. Are we just going to stay put? I came up here for no reason. The lack of action in this game actually irritates me. Okay, what if I don't do anything? Is he just gonna look up and fucking shoot me? Is that it? No. I guess we're waiting, boys! Do it one more time.
Guess I'm looking it up. Guess I'm looking it up. Seems to be the fucking main theme of this fucking game. What you mean, bro? I was doing that. <laughs> I was trying to go to the other way. You just... He didn't want to fucking move. Stay put. Go to the right, dude. Ah, uh, now you wanna go. Alright, alright, dude. Alright. Fuck this game. So fucking dog shit. I don't think cats are this slow. In real life. Can we just put... Can we just, like, mention that? I did mess up a guy's face with an extinguisher once, but this kind is too heavy for my current needs. Can I just open the window? Sneak in? If there's a Catwoman game out there, I'd rather play that. If I gotta be honest with you. Only thing that he does as a cat is land on his feet and it's quiet. That's it. There's no other cat actions that he does. Besides the cat senses, maybe. <laughs> I can't believe you made me go grab a shield for this. The prime definition of padding the fucking game hours. Oh, look who it is. I don't even fucking care at this point. <sighs> Come on. Hmm, what does this place have to hide? Don't give me an achievement for shield. Suck my dick. Will I need help? Who would I call? I don't know. Oh my god, I should not have done this. Pier 36. Meet me in an hour. Black's head. If you're coming from Montgomery, it's the 6th sea-facing warehouse. What's going on? And bring the cavalry. And yeah, maybe that was a maybe that was a good play actually. What if... 
What if everyone in that photo has something to do with the with the murder? Because it was carefully planned. So maybe they all had something to do with it. It wasn't just the the lizard. Fucking what's his name? Mitchell. If that's the case, then the story is predictable. Only thing that can save this now is is like a huge plot twist. I don't think we're gonna get it. I also don't know what the fuck the point of this, doing this is. According to this, the warehouse belonged to a Canadian import company. Ladder. Screaming. I might not even talk. It looks like an arrowhead. That's... that's it? Answer my questions, and I'll protect you from Mitchell. What? As soon as he finds out you've talked to me, he'll kill you. Just like he did to your partner, Randall Lee. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What's Mitchell up to? Mitchell? What Mitchell? What's this warehouse for? It's where I take my naps. I thought that was obvious. Where did Mitchell go? Damn. Are you in love with this guy, or what? If you don't answer my questions, you'll spend the rest of your life in Sing Sing. Only if I don't answer? Come on. I'll give you a minute to think about some more convincing answers. Well, that went nowhere. Is there more on this side? No. Alright, ladder is the only way to go. Let me guess, I can't climb on this, huh? Oh, I can. Thank fucking god. If I had to do some extra shit just to get up here. Interesting. It could be an Ojibwa totem pole. In which case, the top animal would be a crane. A dream catcher. It's supposed to protect children during the night, trapping all evil in its spider web. If I'm not mistaken, these are incense sticks, used in cleansing rituals. Is that it?
Everything seems to prove that Gil is a Native American, and I'm almost sure that the woman in the picture is his mother. He's gonna talk because we found this out? That makes no sense. Is, is he gonna get all emotional about his mom or something? Like, I'm trying to understand, man. Is it like a touchy subject for him? Like... <coughs> You know who always believe in you? Your mother. My mother never lost her faith in me. And I gave her plenty of reasons. The way he said kid. that was very insulting. It all started with something as stupid as keeping the change when she sent me for groceries. Then I started stealing fruit from the street stands. And finally, I turned to pickpocketing. Somehow, my mother managed to keep me in school until I got into college. But I never gave her reasons to believe in me then, either. I rarely went to class my freshman year. Obviously, I was never a sophomore. Then Pearl Harbor happened. I got drafted and sent to Europe. They told me killing was my moral duty. But I discovered it could be addictive. Not all victims were Nazis. But when I got back, I was treated like a pariah, a veteran outcast who never should have come back in the first place. And yet, my mother never ceased to... <coughs> I also fought in the war. That's where I met Mitchell. They used me, like many of my people. And then they just tossed us aside. The first time Mitchell offered me to do this, I told him to take a hike. I wanted to get my act together, but I ended up begging him. I don't like Mitchell. I don't like the things he makes me do. I don't like that German Okay, now you're doing this on purpose. But what I like least of all is myself. I don't like what I did during the war, and I don't like what I'm doing now. Do you know what it's like to kill a friend for the sake of the mission? Huh. But my mother, she always thought I'd make amends and start anew. Maybe it's time I did just that. It's number three. Promise I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. Oh, leaving work early? Let's go, Pog. A sniper killed. Ah, so you killed him, huh? What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? He said number three. Saw this one. I... Put the fucking key in, bitch.
This motherfucker. Bro, he's gonna fucking backstab me. Hey, you it's all right. Don't be afraid, little girl. I'm a friend, okay? Was not expect. No Was not expecting this. Okay. What happens if I do take it? <gasps> oh no. Don't don't play that type of music. <laughs> um, once upon a time there was a space heroine. Um, okay. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess called... Brunhilda! Hi, my name is Brunhilda, and I'm very happy, said Brunhilda. And then Brunhilda, who had a beautiful name... Really beautiful. A really beautiful name ran into someone very special. Oh, who was it? A magical cat called John. I'm a magical cat, my name is John. <laughs> Hi, John the cat. I really like magical cats. Hi, wrote Hilda. I'm gonna use my magical power to help you Huh. You're out of a cage, too. No, you sad. You say silly things, John the Cat. So what are you going to help me do? Bake some delicious pies. Ha! <laughs> I love pies. Which is your favorite? Wow, that's a very hard question. <gasps> but John the Cat, it's the easiest question in the world. Let me show you how easy it is. My favorite pie is... Can't go wrong with Apple. Apple! Whoa, Brunilda? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was about to say. Bird. <laughs> John. Brunhilda. Front. <laughs> I swear the whole game was not like this, John. Do play? It wasn't like this at all. It's look. I know how it looks, okay? Mm. Uh, okay. Hi, bird. Why are you wearing that mask? Well, mm, uh, gas. Uh, well, maybe we should get out of here. What do you think, bird? And what about you, Boonhilda? Mm. Don't you think that? Uh, Did she just fucking knock out?
Okay. Black set, please. I can feel you moving on your own. Bobby Yale, Helen Moore. list of names somehow related to chemical agents no deductions I'm sure there would be a deduction from that oh shit there's way more Subject, Brunhilde Gruner. Treatment, day 1,500. The patient's ability to speak continues to diminish. Now she can only pronounce the occasional word in German. Tissue degeneration persists. And yet, Perhaps due to drastic reduction of benzylpodine dosage and an increase of anupropion, we have observed a 3% of deceleration of said degeneration. Furthermore, and perhaps this is the best finding so far, the subject exhibits a mild recovery of her speaking. It's not a lot, and yet... We are on the right track. All hope is not lost. Is there more we can watch? No. Let's do one more scan of the room. Oh, we can watch more. Subject, Craig Spano. Treatment, day zero. The subject is a veteran baseball player who has lost speed, strength, and agility due to the regular aging process. The patient refers intense pain on the right scapula most likely caused by an old injury. The goals of our medical approach are twofold. To relieve pain caused by the prior injury so that the subject can play without symptoms and to help the patient regain the physical condition lost in the aging process, thus allowing him to perform at elite levels. Treatment. Day 120, the patient no longer feels pain when using his right arm. Circumstance that allows him to pitch without fear. So far, the only side effect seems to be a slight euphoria experienced three hours after dosage, which subsides four hours later, taking the patient on an emotional roller coaster of sorts 
with bouts of mild trembling. If this guy treatment day three forty one. If this guy was my professor, that voice would put me to fucking sleep. Moments of euphoria and boosted physical performance have become increasingly short while the ensuing periods of depression and weakness have become longer, including severe trem. Although we have met all therapeutic goals, we will proceed to terminate the treatment. In order to avoid causing irreparable physical and mental damage to the patient. Spano enhances performance by using drugs. Deduction? Deduction? Deduction! Alright. I don't think there's anything else in the room. Mitchell is cashing in by selling drugs to enhance athletes' performances. Is there another, another deduction from that? Yes, there is. The worst part of Mitchell's scheme isn't that it's illegal or unethical, it's that he didn't even care about compromising the athlete's health. So he was using the drugs on Yale, which is why he tried to be the fake doctor. Gil, you know you're not allowed down here. You know you're not allowed. It's... You bastard. I should kill you right here, right now. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? How much did Mitchell pay you for your soul? It's, it's not about the money. It's about Brunhilde, my daughter. She was born with a degenerative disease, a rare condition similar to the Angleman syndrome. There are only four known cases like hers, and none of the patients reached the age of five. But I couldn't give up. I continued to research and found something. It didn't make her better, but anyway, that same treatment used on healthy subjects seems to improve their stamina and their reflexes it also seems to improve their pain threshold somehow the reich heard about my experiments and tried to recruit me to create you did not just do that you did not just do what you just did right there this game turned Hitler into a furry. Super soldiers. Yes, that Reich. We're talking late thirties, Berlin. I escaped with Brunhilde and came to your country, but the American military also heard about me. I spent the entire war experimenting with drugs on soldiers. Some were highly effective, I must say. When the war was over, my experiments were discarded. I was forbidden all access to the drugs and Brunhilde got worse. But then 
God sent me Angus Mitchell. We had met during the war, and he came to offer me a deal. I would make drugs for athletes, and he would sell them. With my earnings, I could pay for Brunhilde's treatment. What else do you want me to say? It was supposed to be a detective game. Um, I found out last minute it was a, a furry game. Here we are. I mean, this game doesn't really have that much, like, cringe furriness to it. But at the end of the day, it's still a fucking furry game, isn't it? I noticed Yale's name appears twice on your list of athletes. One mention was crossed out. Why? I don't know. A couple of months ago, Mitchell told me to prepare pills suited to his profile. But a week ago, he told me to stop. And then two days ago, he asked me to make them again. About those pills. There was a bottle there before. Mm hmm What is he looking at? You couldn't hear that? This has Don't to be endgame. Josh, you had to tell him the truth in order to protect Brunhilda. Oh, ain't no way. I would have done the same thing. There's more after this. Finish packing up your things and stop torturing yourself, okay? Thanks, Angus. I won't be long. Oh, honey. You like living here? Yeah, me too. But we have to go somewhere else, and it's all that bad cat's fault. Yes, sweetie. We're going to a new home now. A prettier one. And you'll be happier there. Now go with Papa, honey. Give him a kiss. Go on. Give him a kiss. Go on. <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry about this, Josh. But we gave it our best, didn't we? What? What do you mean, Angus? Damn, it's like that! I wish... It hadn't come to this. Angus, what's wrong? Goodbye, Josh. You're happy, you son of a bitch. They were good people. Fuck you! <laughs> Hitler, all right. I hope that made you feel better. I like it when you smile. This would have been much cooler if he was a snake, but... You're so far from the truth. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Oh no, not like this! Oh my god, why didn't I expect a fucking mashing segment? Come on, come on, come on! Let's go, bitch! It was that easy, huh? Oh shit! Ah, uh, this way. The mask would buy me a bit of extra time. The question was, how much? He died?
What are you doing? Um, um, Spano? Yes. Oh my god, I'm expecting mashing. Hold up. I knew it! This is ridiculous. The fuck is this low misfortune? Hey, let me dial in Alex right quick. your problem this game is so ass when it comes to that dude I don't even think AJ can match this. There's no fucking way, bro. You want some fucking crack? too much <laughs> this is the only gameplay mechanic you have going for you bro fucking trash That's it, right? Oh my fucking god. This game is fucking garbage. Oh no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Is there more? Is there more? If I have to redo all that again, I'm gonna throw- I'm gonna kick somebody, dude. Thank God. Fuck!
this dude. Do I put that shitty ass fucking animated emote I got from that guy? I don't know if I want to. <laughs> fucking trash, bro. It's bad. It's bad. Greg Svato is back! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> what the fuck is this Russian music? Who wants to see a home run? <laughs> now you're gonna see. Bring it on! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are getting red like Bloodshot, holy oh. shit. No, no. Oh, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. I'm so used to mashing, okay? Not my fault. This is not end game, bro. If this is not end game, we won't have a talk. Don't torture yourself. You did everything you could. Will he make it? The doctors think so. They found him unconscious by the basement door. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Mitchell was trapped. Could Gil have blocked the basement door from the outside to kill Mitchell? You think? That's a serious accusation. Are you sure, or is this just a theory of yours? It's just a theory. Let's hope we get the truth out of him. Huh. You think Gil was involved in the previous murders? What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Another serious accusation. Are you sure? Yes. Everything points in that direction, including my gut. Wait. Couldn't Mitchell be Randall Lee's murderer? He doesn't have the guts to do it himself. And he used to be in the army, so the sniper makes sense, idiot. Fucking stupid dog. So he misses with two shots at point-blank range, 
and then he hits a guy smack in the forehead from across the street? No. Mitchell is not the sniper who wiped out Randall Lee. Yeah, I guess you're right. But we still don't know what caused Craig Spano's death. You don't know anything! You're a fucking idiot! There's no doubt about it. Spano took drugs from the lab and they killed him. But if that were true, how many more athletes are in danger? And most importantly, who are they? Is Bobby Yale involved? I didn't see them all, but write down these names. Peter Lowe, Xavier Chains, Helen Moore, Bill Goldman. He's not writing. Miles Benton. Is he? Alexander Wood, Jacob Ziegler, and yes, Bobby Yale. Thanks. Saving lives for a change, huh? In any case, thanks for the call. I was starting to think you'd never trust the police again. I don't trust anyone. I don't trust anyone, but I had to cover my back. Hey, John. Surprise. It could have given a tip to a friend, don't you think? Or is that only the case when, uh, when I helped you? <laughs> Get that guy out of here. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, mm, uh, uh, uh. All right. Let's get this over with. When the war ended, Mitchell convinced Groon to use his super soldier drugs on elite athletes. Somehow, Dunn found out about Mitchell's scheme. So when Mitchell heard that Dunn was on to him, he ordered Randall Lee to kill him and frame Yale for the murder. Then, he made Randall search Dunn's house and the gym for any incriminating evidence he might have had against him. The poor cleaning lady died almost by chance. When you stuck your nose in the case, he tried to scare you by sending his thugs to give you a beating. And when that didn't work, he asked Randall Lee to finish you off on the gym rooftop. But Randall not only failed, he got captured. So Mitchell ordered Gill to put a bullet through his head, which only made Gill upset. You kept getting closer and closer to the point of discovering his headquarters. When Mitchell realized he was cornered, he burned his bridges by setting the lab on fire along with Dr. Groon and his daughter. Gil saw the opportunity to get back at Mitchell, so he blocked the only exit so that he would also die in the fire. Did I leave any loose ends? Just a few, but don't worry about it. I'll take care of them now. So I guess thanks for everything. What do you mean? No, 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 no. We solved the case. Credits, now. I don't want to mash no more. In your classic noir films and novels, solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that before he took the case, the world was a better place. That he was a better person. I got the achievement, Come on. congrats. Now speed it out. Oh no. Sometimes I just let my character get the best of me. Come on, come on. What do you want from me? I told Stone what I knew. That he was going to let Yale win. That if he didn't, O'Leary would destroy Helen Moore's career. And that Moore was doomed either way. Or would be, as soon as America discovered her sweetheart was on drugs. I don't believe you. No way. Who sent you? Today? Nobody. And what if I did believe you? What would that change? If I don't do this for her, how could I ever look her in the eyes? How could we stay together? You think you'll stay together when you lose your title and they accuse her of doping? At least I know I tried.
O'Leary's world is long gone. Now TV rules the roost. Sporting scandals and rigged fights can only reduce their credibility, not to mention their ratings. If you take a dive and word gets out, you lose much more than just a fight. Is it all about being professional to you? Suit yourself. But trust me, your manager is a murderer. Get as far away from him as possible. Hey, Black Sad. I'll think about it. How we doing, fam? Top of the morning. Come on, come on, stop. Let me see credits right now. Right fucking now. Please. Okay, we're tying loose ends. This shouldn't take that long. Come on. Yale confirmed to me that Dunn found out that Mitchell was giving him meds. That was the reason they argued the evening of his death. In fact, I was clean at the time. Hadn't used for days. I didn't want to go down that road. I wanted to follow Joe. But he discovered everything. He didn't believe me when I said I had nothing to do with it. But you used again. Only after his death. I, I needed to cope. But the drugs gave you a panic attack. Yeah. But I've been clean ever since. Mitchell gave you the pills when he stopped by the hospital. Hence, your miraculous recovery. Are you planning on taking them before the fight? Oh my god, that emo is so ugly! Holy shit! You know what? It's none of my business. But they'll be your last pills. Then what? I'm doing good. I think we're nearing end game. I'm. I think we're nearing uh, credits. I should say. I think we're just talking to the. The rest of the. Uh, crew here. I'm doing better. Thanks so much in stream. Uh, I'm glad I could help. Come on. Come on. Come on! You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. Come on. Stone and Yale hadn't taken away the bitterness I felt. I needed a friend. He was outraged that I hadn't given him the tip, but he let it go as soon as I bought him a milkshake. After the perfect storm of corruption and murder, only friendship could reconcile me with the world. Only that could make me believe in mankind again. Only that could cleanse my soul. Only that and money. How them Swedish buns train you? I'm leaving them buns alone, man. It's too cold for this BS. What you mean? In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. In your standard noir novel, it would have been done by now. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. But this was the real world. As the detective who had cracked the case, I just had to get my paycheck and be on my way. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blacksad. Mr. Thorpe is on his way. Care to take a seat while you wait? Did he tell you why he's running late? He'll be here in a minute. 
Please take a seat. Bad night with DoorDash. Damn. Let me check where I am in the game. Bro, I... Come on, man. This is the last level. This is the last level. Speed run, baby. Speed run. Speed run. Speed run. This is not speed running. The names, right? The names match. That's not possible. But what if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Blackstad? Mr. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. Sure. As long as you help me fight off this boredom. That's not in my job description, but... Um... I'm loving it McD style because I'm biased because I like to have Raleigh. I get to have Raleigh as a starter again. Oh, it's like that, huh? <laughs> if I had her markings on my skin, would I be the same person? Would my name be different? And how does that relate to this whatsoever? Mr. Detective? If I have to zoom in, oh, God, I was about to fucking say, bro. But that $60 price tag hurts after the barely improvement they did for the graphics. Mmm. Punch is right. There should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda. How long have you worked for Tim Thorpe? Almost three years. And I hope it lasts. Did he tell you how long it will take him to get here? They just left Delano's, so about 30 minutes? It depends on the traffic. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order to figure out how much Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working on the case. But I can't remember. You wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I'd remember. Let me see. That makes me wary, but also having a big open world like that is risky. Can they fill 
can they fill out with enough content without it making you feel empty and unrewarding? Okay. This right here is padding the game hours. For fuck sakes, bro. You just don't want to end, do you? What? Dunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention that? I'm sorry, but your name's not on here. Wait, I just remembered something. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, no. You don't have any appointments, although I guess I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's door. Okay. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm, so... Since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. Nosy bitch. Come on, Thorpe. Tell me there's a back door to your office. There's a map right there. Hmm. Where am I? No, you were here? What kind of fucking map is this? Okay, set one. Hmm. So, lobby, meeting room, office? Should I play the Smirnoff trump card again? No. We don't got time mm. for that. No, this is nothing but a hunch. Can I go in the elevator? Fuck was that? Fuck off. Look, it feels like this game for the for the cat movie. Okay, you want me to go and set one. That's the only place I can go. But that doesn't lead anywhere, though. Hmm. Like, literally, is nowhere. Hmm. 
So, you had something to do with that chest expander after all. So that map was useless. Yeah, you know. Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. Shut your fucking mouth. In my experience, when something looks really good, it ends up smelling really bad. Get off! I forgot this was a thing in this game. We fucking rarely get to do this. Can you please, for the love of God, I know this is the last lockpick I need to do in the game, but fuck off. Cast first word during the credits. Black sad? More like this game made me big sad. Listen, man. <laughs> it's a bit strange to see no office chair behind a desk until you remember the desk's owner is in a wheelchair. Has nothing to do with the case. Yep. Oh, it's a sniper rifle, mate. Oh, crap. Does that make him able to walk? That would be insane, actually. Why am I surprised? In every investigation, there comes a point where every single lead seems to go down the drain. And you have to retrace your steps to get back on the right track. Of course. Okay, okay, okay. What you mean, bro? Wait, what if Groon's drugs helped Thorpe walk? What do you mean? They all have some relation with each other. You just want it to be very specific, and that shit pisses me off. What do you want from me, bro?
I am not enjoying this fucking game anymore. It's literally a guessing game. Literally a guessing game. It's all connected, bro. Why are- this is a fucking social linked? I don't get how you don't put these together, like... Literally, the pills... Fucking... The cops found Gil close to the basement door, he was probably there, the drugs helped Thorpe walk, like... What else do you need? Stop. Sniper. Pills. No. Sniper. Physical limitations. I'm looking it up. Fucking time for this, man. Bullshit, bro. So, Sniper, what's the combination here? A Sniper... Surgeon... No. They called Thorpe the Surgeon for his excellent aim as a Sniper? Where'd you get that from? I'm missing something. Why aren't you giving me the other reason? Oh my god, this game is so fucking trash, dude. I better not use it. It might be connected to the switchboard at the front desk. One of the strengths, the accuracy of his throw. I earned the nickname Iron On. <laughs> this guy gave up reading too! And yeah. Went whatever it wanted. And my coach, the great Joffrey Sox. Mm -hmm. And so I worked hard. Mm -hmm. Pearl Harbor. I enlisted immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, after losing a partner in combat, uh, a serious injury, I asked to be relocated. I became a sniper. I know I shouldn't say this, but I was one of the best in the army. And it was all thanks to my accuracy. No, it was all thanks to Jeffrey Sachs. I wonder how many Americans that man saved with my arm. After these words, Tim Thorpe has moved almost to tears and asks me to take a break. It's shocking to see how- You don't need to read soldier, everything, man! His fame and skill won him a medal of honor and the nickname Surgeon among his brothers in arms. That can't be. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but no. Sakes, man. Half ass written fucking. And now that we have that reason, surgeon, they called Thurp the surgeon. A sniper killed this guy. What? 
You're fucking cooked. You're fucking cooked! What do you mean? <laughs> Who wrote this fucking game, bro? So stupid! Of course, it wasn't Mitchell or Gil. It was Thorpe who shot Randall at the hospital. I see an option in this guy that I don't have. And that fucking scares me. That's it. Thorpe is the man behind the whole drug operation. Everything is Nah, happened. I thought it was me. I can already hear Smirnov telling me I have no conclusive evidence. What if I set a trap for Thorpe? But how? Ha! What if I place Thorpe's gun up there and corner him so that he has to stand up to get it? The show was about to begin. All I needed was an audience and some patience. with matey what a silly man now today you wants to be shark bait do you <laughs> oh, like that i feel terrible for keeping you waiting john uh, but you see there was mutiny on board so uh... stop <laughs> simba's a murderer murder All right councilman to the cabin with you! Onward! Uh, yeah, I can't. Come along, Black Sad. Julie, don't let anyone <laughs> bother us. I'm not surprised by this hint because earlier she said, Sonia said, and I quote, Honey, will you wait in the He's not my real uncle. But that gave it away. Wait a minute, then. I think you've already suffered enough. Okay. And think about where you'd like to have dinner tonight, okay? You see, I'm not going to pay you for solving the case. Wow. I thought you were the kind of man who was true to his word. <laughs> no, it's not that. You'll get every penny we agreed on, and more. But not because you solved the case, but for her. Two days ago, she wanted to end it all. Drop out of college, sell the gym. Too many wounds to heal. But through your incredible work, you managed to heal them. Well, perhaps not completely. It takes time to get over something like this. But at least, thanks to you, Sonia wants to be happy. She has hope. I'm going to help her make Dunn's gym the best in the city. Who would have ever guessed it, huh? He can't use his father's death for his actions. 
I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot, and honestly, I wasn't sure she'd make it. Well, she hasn't just yet, but she will in time. Anyway, back to the case, all those people you confronted. Gil, the German doctor, even Mitchell. Huh. I would have never suspected him. Did they say anything? Why did they do it? Did they mention any accomplices? They did mention a certain surgeon. Surgeon? You have uh, any idea who that could be? A journalist told me. Ring a bell? Let's not beat around the bush. I... I'm sure you've got good intentions, but you're wrong. What makes you think that? I, I'm sure there's an explanation. I know you ordered Randall Lee to kill Joe Dunn. And you tried to frame Bobby Yale, who had recently given up your medical services. Joe was my friend. Don't you get it? Don't deny it. I know Mitchell gave him to you. <laughs> People see a wheelchair and think, Poor guy. He can't walk. But there's so much more to it than that. Some nights I can't even sleep from the pain. That doesn't explain why you didn't tell me you knew about those drugs. I hired you to solve this damn case. You think that's what a murderer would do? Only because you thought I'd blame Bobby Yale and drop the case. But as soon as I realized something wasn't right, you sent Randall Lee and Gil to give me a scare. And when all that failed, you ordered Lee to kill me. You're the type that won't open his jaws once he's got his prey, aren't you? Depends on the prey. Put yourself in my place for a minute. I don't have a minute. You're a promising football player who just got back from the war but you're still a nobody. The man you saved kindly opens his house to you. And that man is still undone by his wife's passing. He works all day at his gym, and he drinks himself to sleep at night. So you practically end up raising his daughter. You give her her very first abacus. You encourage her to further her education. You comfort her when she misses her mother and her father. Well, Faso would be disappointed. Your sporting career takes off. Life is good. Until one day, out of the blue, an accident cripples you. An old friend, Mitchell, tells you he knows someone who can help you. A German doctor. His drugs take some time to work, but uh, they do wonders. You manage to walk for short bursts at a time, little by little. And those bursts keep getting longer. But the drugs aren't cheap at all. So you have to find a way to pay for them, don't you see? So you started by selling drugs to athletes. Then you decided to start an advertising agency to hire those same athletes. Drugs would help them excel, and you'd get better ad deals. The perfect business model. Your first client, Craig Spano. His career had hit a rough patch, so... He was the guinea pig for your new operation. And yet, when the drugs started having serious side effects, you got rid of him. Afraid he would talk, you tried to kill him. 
That's why he hid. From then on, your business was smooth sailing. You even began to think you were above the law. You thought that you were untouchable. Until Joe Dunn found out, and then, two days before his unfortunate death, he came to see you. That's enough now. You stop it. Now, I don't know if I'm above the law, but I am sure as hell not beneath it. Do you know how much power I have? The kind of people I eat with every day? I could shoot you right now, and nothing would happen to me. With that gun you keep in your drawer? I'm afraid not. I placed your pistol out of reach, just in case you happen to confirm my suspicions. I he have. has another one. And now, if you'll excuse me, oh. I have an appointment with the police. He has to have another one. I That's won't let what I thought. Anyone wreck my life again. And that Sonia is a cycle of life. We deserve a future. You can come in now, Smirnoff. Timothy Wilson Thorpe, drop your weapon. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one for you. Damn. Mr. Thorpe. wrong with you Sonia Dunn <laughs> you are under arrest for the death of Timothy I was not expecting him to say that I was like he's dead nah no, you're under arrest <laughs> Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court. Fuck it. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, the state will provide one for you. This whole family is fucked. Do you understand these rights as I have just read them to you? With these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me? Watch your step. sound effects at all he's ha he has to give a speech or something there you go Ah, oh, it's a fucking liar. Look at you. After everything that had happened, the last thing I was interested in was the fight. Did Yale take drugs before the fight? 
Did Stone let him win? I had done everything in my power for things to go the way my moral compass dictated. Whether anyone would listen to me, that was another story. Because no matter what they tell us, our actions don't always determine our future. My moral compass. As if I even knew what that means. I didn't even know what to think of my performance throughout the case. Did I have a clear conscience? Would I have made the same decisions, given the chance? There it is. Black Sad is done. Um, I didn't hate the game. It wasn't my Amori. Coming into this game, I really thought it was going to be one of those hidden gems or... Because the game was very low-key. Like, no one knows about this game whatsoever. Like, nobody. Like, every person I've talked to, chat, nobody. Very, very low-key. But I wouldn't say it's underrated. Far from it. I think it's as low-key as it is because of how the game was made. It wanted to be in that space. And we're going to start off with the graphics. Um, the art style is great. I like the comic, um, the little comic introductions when they're trying to explain a story of like, like a flashback or something. Um, but besides, everything besides that, it wasn't that great graphically. This game came out 2019. I thought it was older. But it coming out 2019 kind of... I don't know. Like, if you Google games that came out 2019, this is not even on the list. Like, that's how fucking hidden this game is. And I don't think they did a good job on the marketing. I don't think they did a good job trying to push this game whatsoever. They just uh, wanted to make a game based off the comic, and I think they did what they set out to do. Um... This game did have a lot of bugs, especially during that mission with um, when I'm trying to impersonate uh, Thornum. I forgot his name, but the moose. I was trying to imitate the moose, and every time I failed, it would just jump to a black screen, and I would have to re restart the game, and I would have to watch the entire cutscene over and over and over again. It also has some cutting corners when, um, like if Black Sad, he just teleports to a certain area, like from the stairs at the gym. If you just go up the stairs, he jump cuts, he starts teleporting. There was also another instance at that, at the warehouse, um, when we were trying to get the jump on the, uh, the horse. Um, I will say the soundtrack was good. You can't really go wrong with jazz. Um, sound design was well done. There was, there was this instance where we were in O'Leary's office and you can hear like the fucking, the fish tank, like right behind you. If you're wearing headphones, that was very well done. And also when you're talking to different characters, whichever way they're facing, you can hear them on that side of your, um, on your headset. Um... There's, there was also a few visual glitches in the gym. Switch noticed it when uh, the light was flickering and the fucking text on the wall, the quote on the wall was just going fucking haywire. But 
my over my overall with the graphics is just this came out in a bad year. If it came out a couple years before, I wouldn't I wouldn't go too harsh on it, but it releasing only three, two years, two, three years ago is it's kind of rough, man. It's kind of rough. The only thing that's keeping it up is the comic part. Um, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five. Middle of the run. Story. This story dragged. It does not deserve to be 10 hours. At all. Um, it could have been way cut shorter. I want to say they kept it, they made it long because of the price tag, which is 40 bucks, by the way, which is highway robbery, in my opinion. Um, for a simple murder mystery case, 10 hours is too much. The thing about, like, something with Persona 4 is the RPG aspect. This game, you didn't have any gameplay mechanics. You were just following a story. It was like a walking simulator. You know what I'm saying? So, if you had some decent gameplay to go along with that, I can understand the 10 hours. But we weren't really doing anything besides walking and just interacting with whatever objects that was on the street. Also, it was really hard to connect with the characters simply because they were furries. And it felt like this game didn't really understand what it was because they refer to themselves as animals, and then sometimes they refer to themselves as humans. So, I feel like this was already a game in development, and they just put the Black Sat comic influence on top of it, which, take it as you will. The story was okay, the murder mystery, like I said, you know, the, the whole premise of it, it being Jim, uh, Dunn's closest friend, where it hits, you know, kind of close, um, like in your group of fucking friends and one of them betrays, um, you know, it hits different. I want to say they didn't really execute that very well. I feel like if they executed it better, I would have felt bad or I would have been surprised, like a, you know, like a plot twist type of deal. But, uh, as far as story goes... What would I rate it? What would I rate it? I'll give it three and a half out of five. It's, it's just... It's simple. It's basic. You know what I'm saying? I also want to point out that... I don't know if it was intentional. But it was a little distasteful seeing what they did with the uh, Red Panda earlier last session. So I have a question for Pendulo and Microids, the developer and publishers of this game. Do you think us Asians just scream and be loud? Is is, it, is that what it is? Huh? You think we're just fucking loud? I was kind of offended by that. Um, like, you could have gave him... I don't even think he was an Asian voice actor. I saw the name. It was... It said Red Panda Doug. Doug ain't an Asian name. Let me tell you what. That's white as hell. <laughs> so, the fact that he was a red panda, he was supposed to be Chinese, and you just... Did, like, what the fuck? Like... I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that. We can take it to the Walmart parking lot right fucking now. I'll beat you on top of an Asian fucking truck, too. Um... But yeah, story three and a half out of five. The gameplay is where it's lacking. Very lacking. There is a lot of quality of life missing in this game. When you're walking around, either around the gym, around the diner, just anywhere. The fact that there's no speeding, like speed walk or jogging, and you're just in fucking Black Sad just takes his time walking from point A to point B. That's padding the game hours, and that seems to be the main theme of this game. The story was dragging, the gameplay, you can't really do much, you're just stuck there, the dialogue options, it whatever. And speaking of the dialogue options, I hate how they punish you so fucking hard when you get an answer wrong. 
Like, I understand when you get an answer wrong, you die, right? In a, in a certain situation. But it, se it seemed to be that the entire game. There was no other alternative answer. There was only one streamline answer to pick. And if you didn't pick that answer, you dead. You gotta retry it again. And the, another quality of life that was missing was... You couldn't skip through the dialogue that you've already seen. This game came out 2019, okay? I expect some, like, something. Like, skip the dialogue, skip the cutscene, something, bro. I don't know why it was, it was so... Was it so hard to code in where you can just fucking skip the dialogue, walk a little faster? Was that so hard to do? You put more animations into, like, the death scenes <laughs> than anything else. Um... If you, like, strip everything away from this game, like, story-wise, it's just QTE, which was bullshit, by the way. Mashing, you would have to break your fucking buttons. Or your fucking spacebar or something. Just to get the mashing done. Um, I will say it's not keyboard and mouse friendly if you're gonna play this, end up playing this, play with the controller. Um, on a keyboard, this main menu for example, you would have to scroll through with arrow keys and using arrow keys in a game that came out in 2019 is just not it fam. Not it. It's just not it chief. Um... They were also very anal about the deductions when you try to put, um, when you try to put clues together to make a deduction. They were very anal and fucking specific for that. Even though if you take, if you take a step back and look at all the clues you have gathered, you can make a shit ton of deductions. And I thought this game, depending on your choices that don't even matter, by the way, because if you get an answer wrong, you'll fucking die. I thought there would be alternative routes to get to the ending. That's a damn lie. That's a fucking lie. It's very- it's linear than I thought. Choices actually don't matter in this game. And that's where it differs from something like Telltale. They had a good story. This... Not so much, okay? Not so much. Um... I did enjoy the cat sense. Which reminded me a lot of detective mode from the Arkham games. Um, and also I heard, uh, Sherlock, the Sherlock Holmes games has that as well. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. They have the deductions, putting the clues together, but not, not the, uh, cat sense. So, it took little bits of this and there from, from other games, try to make it their own, put some furry glitter on it. Um, so gameplay, I would give it a two and a half out of five, which brings me to my overall score. I was getting kind of pissed off in the beginning of the session. Because we, we just came back on that mission that I ended off as with the glitch, with the with the black screen bug. So I was thinking of lowering it, but I think a 5 out of 10 is a respectable score. It's the middle of the road, nothing special about it, it doesn't stand out. Um, I could lower it because of the price tag, but I'm not. Uh, this is 40 bucks. At the time of streaming this, there is a Steam sale going on, the Lunar, uh, Lunar New Year sale. Year of the Tiger. What's up? Uh, <laughs> um, so it is around like $8, which I think is a suitable price to get this game. But here's the thing. I won't see... I can't see myself in the future coming back to this. It's a murder mystery. A half-assed one at that. And after you solve the mystery, there's not really much to replay. The, the, the gameplay doesn't keep you going. Doesn't want you to come back. Uh, the graphics are, are subpar, right? So that doesn't want you, that doesn't make you want to come back. If you, if there ends up being a sequel to this, which I highly doubt because this game is so hidden, you're going to need to pack a bigger punch. Like you, you had potential by introducing the game with this hanging body, right? You're like, oh, that's just morbid as fuck. This is going to be a good dark story. But then, when you put the furry graphics on top of it, eh, eh, and when you drag it for 10 hours, I don't know about that. 
There was no emotion in the voice acting. It felt like they were reading off of a script at times. I think they tried to make Black Sad kind of like Batman, which I did not get whatsoever. Batman's a badass. Black Sad is just... Dare I say sad? Um... I don't know what else to say. 5 out of 10. Black Sad. Never coming back again. Get it on sale. Do not buy it at $40. Do not buy this game at full price. Um... Because you, you, you will be disappointed for 40 bucks. There's a lot better titles at 40 bucks. A Black Sad Cat. Yep. I do want to appreciate that there wasn't that much furriness in this game. Like, cringiness. Like, like, ooh-woo type of shit. I'm glad they kept it neutral. The only thing that was close to it was the rhino fucking that bitch in the picture, but it was necessary for the story. To move the story forward. So, Black Sad, 5 out of 10. Um... I did say in the beginning of the session, or not session, but in the beginning of this playthrough, that this was may or may not be the last game before PoE League. And I cannot disrespect myself like that. I cannot, in good conscience, end my let's play before PoE on something like this. Because once, after that initial PoE stream, I might go dark. I might not get go live again for a, a few weeks, right? Because I'm out here grinding. So, that's why I'm, like, playing all these games almost every day to fill in that gap that February might have. And I am going to play another game after this. I have one in mind. Um, but until, until we reach there, which is most likely tomorrow, um... I'm Super Majin Kev.